right, we actually need to solve for x here, given this exponential equation, five to the power three x plus two is equal to 30 to the power x. And uh, we present a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. So this is exactly five to the power three x plus two, and this equals 30 to the power x, which is five to the power three x times five squared is 30 to the power x, like so. Right, upon careful examination, we can associate the terms. And if we associate the terms, what does this imply? So we then have five to the power three X divided by 30 to the power X is one over five squared, right? At the point that we have these five to the power three X, we divide by 30 to the power X. It is equal to one over five squared which means that you have five to the power three divided by 30 all to the power x is actually the same as five to the power minus two, like so. And uh, these can be seen as uh, five to the power three over now in the denominator, we have 30, but 30 is five times six. So this is five times six to the power X, which is five to the power minus two, right? Upon careful examination, five will eliminate one factor of five in the numerator, giving us a five squared out of six, all to the power X is five to the minus two. Trying to simplify these to the lowest basis possible. And therefore now five squared is 25. So this is 25 out of six, all to the power X is five to the minus two. Now looking at these bases, we clearly can see that there's no way we can make the bases the same. Uh, and so we apply the log, right? We apply the common logarithm on both sides on the left, the common logarithm on the right, which means uh, you have X 25 out of six, which is minus two into the log or minus two times the log of five dividing by the log here to obtain to solve for X. It therefore follows therefore that X is uh, minus two, the log of five divided by um, the log of 25 out of six. Right, and if you use a calculator here, you're able to get a minus 2.25551. And uh, this is uh, the answer to the problem. And uh, we have solved uh, this particular equation in a step-by-step -step manner, right. But uh, this is not the only way to solve the problem, right? There are many other ways to solve it. Yeah, let's look at method two. Right, let us look at method two, because if you have five to the power three X plus two equals 30, to the power x. Um, we can look at this and realize that, well, you're dealing with an exponential equation and the basis 
here we have phase five, here it's five and six, five times six. So we can just apply the log. The log of five to the power three X plus two equals to the common log of 30 to the power X. Meaning we have three X plus two times the log of five, which is X log 30. We distribute here, which means that you have three X log five plus two, the log of five, which is X, the log of 30, which is three X log five plus two log five is equal to x, x, the logarithm of 30. We take out a common factor here, um, the highest common factor, right? Or we can just first, just associate the terms a little bit. Let's take our time, we're not, we're not in a hurry. So we have three x, the log of five minus x, the log of 30 equals uh, minus two, the log of five. X is uh, the highest common factor on the left. So pulling it out, we have uh, three, the log of five minus uh, the log of 30, which is minus two, the logarithm of five. Meaning here you have uh, minus two, the log of five, you divide by three, the log of five minus uh, the log of 30. Okay, like so. Right, upon further examination, we can write this as minus two, the log of five, you divide everything by the log of five cubed divided by 30. Okay, this can write as five cubed, and because you're subtracting the log, you divide by the 30. And uh, this means x is equal to minus 2, the log of 5. Minus 2, the log of 5 over the log. Right, we've seen that we're 5 cubed out of. 30 in the denominator. And this is uh, minus two, the log of five, you divide everything by, right, the 30 is the same as five by six. Five cubed. Okay, um, now we cancel out, getting a two, and this is minus two, the log of five divided by the log of uh, five squared out of six. And then this gives us uh, minus two, the log of five divided by the logarithm of five squared. Five squared here is 25 out of six. Right. And we can see therefore we know and we've emphasized so we can write that uh, clearly on the next slide to avoid mixing things up. So we have therefore that x is minus two, the logarithm of five divided by the logarithm of 25 out of six. Minus 2.2. Five 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 one. Okay, now this is the uh, the solution to the question, and we've solved this. Okay, so there are just a couple of ways to play around with these. And so, so okay, here we use the method two. We use the the logarithm straight away to bring down the x, um, the power x. And here we played around a little bit first 
Uh, here we realize that uh, we could just associate the x terms like the 5 to the power 3x and the 30 to the power x. The 30 to the power x was quickly and, and we're able to solve quickly here. Um, there are too many ways to do this and the other method is the one I used earlier. All right, we've solved this problem. Thanks everybody for your time and attention and goodbye to you.